Good to see you again. I wanted to let you know that we are going to continue our learning goal for today, which is I'm learning to write an expanded sentence. Now, if you watched the previous video, we learned how to write an expanded sentence by using the word because. In this video, we're going to write an expanded sentence using the word and. And in this time, I think since we have a different friend joining us today, instead of saying I like the cat, I think we're going to use the word dog. What do you think? We always need a little bit of inspiration for our writing. And guess what? Inspiration is right in front of you or right outside your window. You can write about anything you want, which is the best part that I love about writing. Writing is so creative. It can take you anywhere. So on our adventure today, we're going to write, I like the dog. We'll see if he comes back. He's kind of sitting down here a little bit. That is Spencer. That is my dog, Spencer. All right, we don't want to use pink. We want to use black. I like the dog. Here we go. D, d, ah, uh, g, dog. Thank you for helping me sound out that word dog. Sometimes I forget, even though it's a sight word that we should know in a snap. That just happens to be one of the ones we can sound out. Okay, let's repeat our learning target again, okay? We already did in the previous video, but you might be watching this on a different day or right after. So we always wanna look at what it is that we're learning today so that we know what direction we're going in our learning and on our journey and adventure today. So let's look at our learning target. I'm learning to write an expanded sentence. Okay, this time repeat after me. When I go like this, I say it. When I go like this, you say it. All right. I'm learning to write an expanded sentence. Now, if you watched the previous video, expanded is a really big word that just means longer. Okay, just the way that we sound out our words and we stretch it out instead, we're stretching out our sentence. Expanded means that we want to answer the uh, reader's question that might be because or why, or they just want more information. We're just making the sentence longer. So today, for our simple sentence we're starting with is I like the dog. If we were going to end our sentence there, we would put a period, but today, we're not going to end our sentence there because we're going to make it longer. What's that word? Expanded. Expanded just means longer. It means bigger, okay? Think about when you put water in a water bottle and you put it in the freezer. What happens to it? The water expands as it freezes and it makes the water bottle bigger. We're just making our sentence bigger. It's a big word that just means bigger. Expanded means you're right, bigger. Okay, let's move on. I like the, or sorry, I didn't say cat this time. I like the dog. Hmm. One way that we can expand this sentence and make it bigger or longer is by using the word and. And and is a sight word as well that we could sound out, but it's one that we should just learn because we're going to use it a lot in our writing. The word and is a, a, Mm, duh. Okay. And I'm going to underline it in pink because it is fulfilling our need for writing an expanded sentence. Okay. Now we have to figure out what we want to write after the word and. Let's find out by rereading and thinking inside our head how we can fulfill or complete that sentence by using the word and. Let's go back and reread. I like the dog and hmm this is the creative part think inside your head how could you complete that sentence i like the dog and hmm. <gasps> okay 
I think I have an idea of what I'm going to write, and it includes a sight word, so it should be easy for us to make this uh, sentence expanded. Let's think about it. I like the dog and, let's include the other noun in our other sentence, the other animal. What was the other animal that we used? The other animal we used was the, uh, was the noun cat. And you know what? It's staying on topic too, because it's writing about animals. That could be our topic. So I like the dog and cat. Now, let's go back and make sure this sentence makes sense. Because if a sentence doesn't make sense, it's not complete. And our reader won't know what we're talking about. So let's go back and read our sentence. I like the dog and cat. Good. Now I think we might be missing some things when it comes to our writing. So now let's read it the writing way. We read it the way we would if we were reading a book. Now we're going to read it the writing way to see if we have everything in there we need for our writing part so that it, people can read it and it looks correct. Let's look at it. I space like space the space dog space and space cat <gasps> period. And you know what? I'm not going to include an exclamation point because I don't think I'm yelling or super excited. And it's not a question. I like the dog and cat. It's just a statement. So I like the dog and cat ends with a period. But boys and girls, guess what? We just wrote a very simple expanded sentence. We made it bigger just by using a sight word we already know. And let's go back and make sure that we have fulfilled the learning target. I'm learning to write an expanded sentence. We used one of our expanded words. We've learned that one expanded word that we can use to make our sentence bigger is because, and the other one is and. I like the dog and cat. Boys and girls, it's as simple as that. Writing is easy peasy and it can take you anywhere you wanna go.